Don't worry about that. That's Miss Mabel. She mad because she wants some sweet tea. All right, come on, Mr. Wilbur. You got to take your medicine. We're not doing that today. Come on. Come on, Mr. Wilbur. Here. I don't know why they stopped giving you your feel-good medicine, Mr. Wilbur, but these are the only two pills they gave me. That's that's all we got, okay? Listen, I tried to go down and bathe Miss Janie like three times, and she done denied it now. Now, y'all know what she going to do when her daughter get here. They ain't give me no bath. I tried. I tried. She told me she didn't want one, so I just said, okay. Listen, normally I don't mind wiping the patients behind. That's what we do. But see, Mr. Wilbur, he be pooping on himself on purpose. Yes, he do. Because he wants somebody to come and wipe his behind. He fresh. I ain't fooling with him. Listen, y'all let Miss Janie play, y'all. Miss Janie know how to walk without that walker. Yes, she do. I done seen her get up many a times to go turn the TV. Uh-huh. She know how to walk without that walker. She playing, y'all. Okay, so who's going to answer Miss Murder? Because she done pressed that call button like 10 times. She asked me to come in there and shave the hair off her big toe. I'm not doing that. Y'all getting ready to go to lunch. Okay. Um, Just bring me back a two-piece. Two piece in a biscuit, that'll be fine. Let me tell y'all what Mr. Johnson did. He slid me a $20 bill and said, can I help him break out this joint? <laughs> I hollered. I said, thank you for the $20, but baby, you're gonna need more than that for me to help you break out. Now, Mr. Johnson really tried it today. This man just slipped me $50 and said, can I go up the street and get him something to eat? Cause he don't want to eat none of this nasty cafeteria food. Now I done changed Miss Jeannie bed three times today. She is literally laying in the bed just peeing. She don't want to get out of the bed. She told me, she said, I'm not getting out. I'm just gonna pee right here. Y'all, I could really write a book. I could really write a book. Okay, so Miss Sarah's daughter came up here today and she was upset because she said Miss Sarah diaper was full. And I said, well, Miss Sarah refused for us to change her. So y'all, Miss Myrtle done hit that call button 30 times today. See, I'm getting ready to go home. Y'all got to deal with that. I'm, I'm about to go. <laughs> I'm off the clock. Between Miss Myrtle and Miss Sarah, I'm gonna lose my job. Cause both of them cutting up today. I done got cussed out by Miss Myrtle and Miss Sarah still sitting in that bed peeing. 911, it's an emergency. Oh Lord, that's Miss Mabel. She mad cause Trina went in there and took her snicker bars out her stash. Y'all, Mr. Wilson asked if he could be my sugar daddy today. I said, uh, no, but I might be able to slip you little Popeyes every now and then. Now y'all know Miss Mabel is diabetic, right? Okay, so tell me how she ended up with packs of sugar in her room. I literally saw her open up packs and pour it in her lemonade. I said, Lord, I. I can't make this stuff up. I ain't gonna lie. Now, Miss Mabel got a snack drawer stash. She got Snicker bars, little Debbie cakes, girl, everything. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Don't worry about oh, it. It's Mr. Lord, Brown. He got Lord, gas. Lord. We've been trying to help him relieve her all day. Oh, we done gave him gas. Set. We done gave him everything. Lord. He can't get it. Because I feel bad for him. Now, Miss Mabel, I done told you, you can't have sugar in your grits. You got to eat them the old-fashioned way with butter, salt, and pepper. You can't have that sugar. Now, Miss Mabel, I know you mad, but you cannot have sugar and your iced tea. You just can't, baby. You're diabetic. Now, Mr. Johnson, I can't put no salt on your eggs today. They already done fussed at me. Your blood pressure is through the roof. I can't put no salt on your eggs. Miss Adeline, how's crispier do you want the bacon? This is crispy as it get. Next thing's gonna be burnt. Okay, so you want burnt bacon. Okay, I'll make sure the cafeteria know you want burnt bacon. Well, Mr. Johnson, don't get mad at me. I ain't cooked the food. I did not cook this food. Look, I'll complain. I'll let them know you didn't like it. I'll let them know you didn't like it. Now, Miss Sarah, you done sat down and peed right now on yourself knowing that you could have got up and went to that bathroom. Now, this don't make no sense, Miss Sarah. I love you, but this don't make no sense. Mr. Wilson, now I done told you now, I can't take your money. You keep offering it to me, I'm end up taking it. I love you too, but I can't give you no more feel-good medicine. I love you too, but I can't give you no more. I can't give you no more. Yes, ma'am, I do understand, but your mama has refused a bath all week long. Yes, ma'am. Every time we go in there, we got documentation. She refused to take a bath. Now, listen, I know she told us she didn't want to take a bath no more, but that room is getting funky. I'm going to have to go in there and, and just, I'm going to have to do something because that room smells terrible. Now, see, this is why I don't like Trina to come in after me because when she come after me, all my patient stuff be messed up. That's what I'm talking about. 